everyone, it's Nona Grace. You know, I didn't realize it, but it is eight o'clock. I was looking at the clock that I have on the wall and it, I, my husband asked me if I fed the dog yet. And I said, no, it's only 4.30. Well, the battery had stopped and the clock had stopped at 4.30. So to me, I thought the day was still a lot of day left, but apparently the day is almost gone. I looked out and my chickens are still out, so it, that makes me even think it's still early, but apparently they haven't gone to bed yet. So I fed Jake. He gets an egg today because there was an egg in my carton that had a little crack in it and I didn't know it had a crack in it, so when I took it out, I thought, well, I guess Jake gets an egg today. So that's what he got. I, I have brought in a few. I don't remember how many eggs I brought in today, not very many. Yesterday we got nine eggs, so today we got a little less. And Emma is sitting on her eggs still. She's been, she's been real diligent in staying on the eggs. But earlier today when I, well, I had some chicken scratch I wanted to give to the chickens, so I brought it out, but I brought the bag out because the bag was just about empty. And when I went to dump it, one of the blackbirds, the black chickens, it's a black chicken, black hen, she got nervous and she flew over the fence and the other one got itself in a little area that if it could have figured out how to get out, I'm sure it would have gone over the fence too. So my husband and I are out there walking the yard trying to get this chicken to go back towards the, the hen house so that I could open the gate and let the, the hen in. Well, it finally did go there after um, probably a good 15 minutes of of walking around looking trying to get this chicken to go and every time I get them into there I think oh I should have had the camera <laughs> but I didn't have the camera well today um, Jim can you give me that piece of paper that's over there the big one today when I was watching who was I watching I was watching eccentric nature I was watching and Eric had done a, a shout out and he shouted out my channel. So Eric, I'm going to mention you. He's, it's about plants. He has plants. It's, uh, they're really interesting. Some of the plants are in the house and some of the plants are on his patio. But, you know, here where I live, I like to watch some of the ones that do actually do plants that are in the house and talks about care, care of them and different things that they do because we can't do um, a garden just yet. It's still too cold. The other day we had they had snow in Kentucky, and it was it's been 47 degrees here. So it's not time to plant our gardens. We have to wait. Probably the end of May or, or the first of June we can start to put a garden in. But anyways, he gave a, a shout out to me. He also shouted out um, Essence Family Garden. He shouted out New, New Orleans Gardener. And Nona Grace, which is me, um, my old adventure, um, Todd's Tropicals, ACS, um, Bat Bat My Garden, um, Granny B, and Happy Colorado Homestead. Now, a couple of these I've checked on, and I've actually, I'm I am now following them. I haven't had a chance to really watch them too much to even know what they're about, but a few of these I watch all the time, and I'm sure you'll enjoy watching them too. So thanks for the shout out there, Eric, on Eccentric Nature. He gave me a shout out. And I had lots of company. I hope your Easter has been busy and happy. I had all my kids were here, and I got a visitor that I went to the door. And I looked, and she goes, she says my name, and I go yes, and she, she, it was a, it was a former foster child that lived with me, and I looked at her and I go, oh my goodness, I would have never recognized her, never in a million years. She looked so different, but the more she talked, the more I realized who she was. So, I'm going to say hi to her, and it's Candy. Hi. And um, I don't know if she wants her name mentioned on here or not, but I just did it. Oops. There's a lot of candies out there. I have a, I have a, a nephew that married a candy also. So, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm 
for a minute. I had a You worked with the candy. I worked with the candy. And there's so there's candy out there. And there's candy today is Easter. A lot of kids probably got candy. So I will talk to you all at another time. Bye.